Greetings, it is Max so Diddly here, and today I'm here with another Java tutorial to you get A in your coursework or exam. And today we're here with how to make a progress bar in Java. So this method, unlike my how to make a music player in Java video with a GUI with buttons and everything, this doesn't depend on NetBeans. This will be using no GUI builder and just code. So this will work in any IDE. So let's get right into it. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a loading bar, which will show the percentage and have like a little bar which fills up as you go up the counter. So before we get into this, make sure your class uh, inherits from the JFrame class. So you do extends JFrame and you import these libraries. So firstly, we need to make a J progress bar and we're going to call it progress bar. And then we're going to make a constructor method for our class. So make sure it's got the same name as this. A constructor method is essentially a method which is called when a class is initialized or created. Or an instance of it is, sorry. And inside our constructor, we're going to do progress bar equals new j progress bar 0. And then we're going to put in a number. I'm going to do 1000 for the purpose of this tutorial. Essentially, these values, that's the starting value or the bottom value of the bar, and that's the top value of the bar. That's all it is. Then we do progress bar dot set bounds. These are essentially the four coordinates of your progress bar. So when you're making a rectangle or a cube, you will have four coordinates which determine where each corner of the rectangle or cube is. That's what these coordinates do. Then you do progress bar dot set value. You don't need to do, always do this. It's good practice to set it on zero to start with. Progress bar dot set string painted. Do you want to show the percentage on the progress bar? If you do, cool, have true. If you don't, put false. Add progress bar. This just adds it to your J frame. Set size is setting your J frame size. Set layout, null. So now that we have that, so let's have a function to test the progress bar. So we've got a method here, public void load test, and we've got a for loop, int i equals zero, i less than a thousand, or less than or equal to a thousand. And this thousand comes from here, by the way, I'm using the same value, you don't have to, up to you. And then we do i plus equals 10. And what we're going to do in each iteration of this loop, we're going to update the progress bar, set the value to i, then we're going to do a try catch. Essentially, we're going to try and sleep for 150 milliseconds. So this loading bar, we can actually kind of see it progress as opposed to it happening in a blink of an eye. So in our main method, we want to do Java progress bar tutorial. Progress bar object equals new Java progress bar tutorial. Basically, we are creating an instance of the Java progress bar tutorial class. And we're calling it progress bar object. So we're just calling this constructor method. Then we do progress bar object, which is what we made here. Set visible true. Then we call the load test function, which is here. After we print done and we close the system or the program once we finished, because there's nothing else we need to do. So let's click play. Look at it go. It's slowly getting through. And you can see it prints done and closes the program. Let's just try it with out the number. I, why? I, did I, I hit control F. Oops. Let's click play. As you can see, it's working without the number. So, thanks a lot guys for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you next time. Adios.